Hello YouTube. I'll be showing you today how to reverse engineer a software using a software called Oli Debug. Or you can say bypass the copy production in order to use the product without extending the trial duration. So that way you don't have to buy the full version of the product. So what happens exactly is when you download a software which are mostly trial versions or the beta software out there in the internet which allows you to run the program only until a certain date and there the Oli debug comes in handy and uh, where you can bypass the copy protection uh, just a simple note to remember uh, note <coughs> that you should have at least good uh, knowledge about the assembly language in order to understand uh, even if you don't know how to code, uh, at least you should know the basics of it. That's it. So let's get started. In order to perform the reverse engineering, I have already downloaded a software. Here you can see Power ISO. This is a set of files. I have four or five softwares here. I've also downloaded the reverse engineering software, which is called Oli Debug. <coughs> so this is how it looks like <coughs> sorry mm. so uh, I'm gonna use the power ISO 6 to bypass the copy protection of it using Oli debug so let me just uh, install the setup first so I'll just install it in C and select all close okay done no need this one okay so you can see I've already installed it and thank you for trying power ISO and all this all this and this is an unregistered version for evaluation use only and you must register power ISO to get the full version okay so let's register I'm just typing random keys let's say okay and it will come with an error message saying the username or the serial number is invalid so leave that now uh, what we're gonna do is open the ISO file in this Oli debug. After after op opening uh, the file inside this software mm, for bypassing, it will dis disassemble the binary files. Uh, so let me open the file. Let me maximize it first. Now open it, and then <coughs> this is where I've installed the file. Note that you have to. Uh, open the installed file this is the power iso exe file executable file open it analyzing and there you can see it has disassembled disassemble the binary file and so all we have to do is go to the view uh, view menu and then you can see executable modules view executable modules and just go and there you can see the binary files and just go into this file click on it and just enter into this file double click and it will show you the main thread here are all the binary files and uh, <coughs> oh, I forgot something. Just note, uh, note that <coughs> okay. sorry. Enter registration. You have to copy and save it somewhere in your text file or somewhere so that you can remember the exact message 
what what it shows so I'll just copy this message this name was serial numbers are invalid and then just open a text document and then just paste it over here so that we can remember exactly what it said and what the error message shows showed so okay close it and we'll go back to the Oli debug and then <coughs> All you have to search is, all you have to search the uh, error file, which it says, uh, this, this thing, the username or serial number is invalid. So let us search for it. So if we search through, scroll through these files, and uh, you, as you can see, it, it is going to take a long, long time if we scroll through and just search through all the files so what we can do is uh, search for go to all reference text things and then here you can see all the text messages or the strings of this file so as we as we already know the error file which we have saved earlier is it says the username or serial number is invalid so all we have to do is just copy this and then uh, go to that text string and search for text and just paste it here and it will search this address and here you can see it has already found the address the username or serial number is invalid and again you can see at the down there thank you for your registration so all you have to do is just change the address number between these two so basically what you do is uh, uh, jump the serial number of this username or serial number is invalid to the thank you for your registration number so <coughs> All you have to do is double click um, yeah double click on this then double click here and it says push 68 beats 32 C so just leave that and just delete it and just type JMP jump to the address number of that unicode which it says thank you for your registration so what is the code uh, the address uh, address code here is 004625 uh, 25c 004625c okay that's it is it, is it? no 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 i'm wrong so sorry jump to thank you for your registration and that is double zero four double six two b f that's it i think now assemble it and then cancel it that's it Maybe right click over it copy to executable all modifications copy all and there you go the exe file with the thing and then again right click here save the file I'll just save it on my desktop power ISO uh, hat save it and that's it so here, here is the file which I've saved and let's check if it really works enter the registration code I can I can put any username any registration code into here and just press ok and it will say 
and it came out with the me uh, message saying thank you for your registration so as you can see now you have already reverse engineered thank you for watching bye bye